That is pretty disgusting. And that smells lovely. It truly is amazing to me. Y'all see how beautiful the sky is here. That we can go from 80 degrees overnight, snow in the next day, it stays cold for two days. Mama, now we're back out Mama. here in short sleeve. What's wrong with you? Can't find shoes? Go look in the garage. We have two that can't keep up with shoes. What I'm headed down to do today, I've got the bunnies pen to get cleaned out today, to untarp some of the lettuce that y'all saw was tarp, and I'm gonna check on the tomatoes in the greenhouse. I also think that they need water, so that's what I'm going out to do today. Really, really is a beautiful day. <laughs> Lavender, I did come out yesterday when I got the eggs. Most of the stuff weathered pretty well considering some of my lettuce over there in that bed kind of got burned. Some of the broccoli over there kind of got burned because it did get like down to 28, six, something like that. My lavender is completely gone. This one and this one over here. My calendula did hold up, so it looks good, but my lavender is a goner. I am unsure the last time mine died, the whole plant died, it did not come back the next spring. So I'm hoping that it will come back once spring comes. I don't know about that specific variety. The last time it did not, once it was dead, it was dead. And I told Colby the day we were out here covering stuff up, I was debating on covering it up or actually going in and like digging up part of the root system on one and taking it into the greenhouse. And I just didn't do it. Swiss chard also did not make it. Our Brussels sprouts still look really good. I've been going through and trying to clean out some of the leaves on the bottom of that so that they can put more energy into making Brussels sprouts. Rather. Overall, tomatoes did do okay. You can see what happened to some of these down here. They look pitiful. But I don't think enough damage was done to the plant on those few little leaves to damage the plant because the tops of them look okay. It was just where the drafts were coming in. And I did, then after the first night, I come in and I realized we had a section right here that was letting air just pour in. Owls in there for the time being. We had like two really cold days and now it's back into, I'm in short sleeve and it feels like amazing 70 out here. I am overall very pleased. I still have tomatoes everywhere. I have a few more that are red. They are fairly soft, but I'm gonna let them stay on for a little bit longer and get even sweeter. I know I could pick them right now and take them inside and it wouldn't change the sugars of the tomato that much, but we have no pest problems. So there's really no reason for me to pull them right now. So I'm gonna leave those alone. At least two times a week, we get in here and we get all of this cleaned out because you can see the flies makes great food for the plants, but of course I don't want it to be nasty in here. There's no space. One of the things that I started doing a few weeks ago was I left an extra bucket out here. And of course you can see I cleaned it out. But what I have found to be the easiest way to do this is I had been taking my trays, walking them to the greenhouse one by one and dumping them because it was, it's hard to take more than one at a time. So I figured if I, this was an extra one of my laundry, I buy laundry detergent from Azure Standards in five gallon size to get my containers. And I'm going to,
get the poo out and that smells lovely the other side what i wanted to show y'all because i try to be as waste free as possible so the other side is spilled feed can y'all see that i'm not gonna waste that and actually because that's where the flies are going to lay their larva let's see if i can pull some back yeah i do see some in there it's not as many as last time let's see if i can show y'all a clip of this yeah y'all saw some what i do with that is actually take it to the chickens and the chickens will scratch around with that eat the fly larva eat the extra food it's not gonna hurt them and that cleans up my trays so i get the poop and i'm gonna add water in there and dump it on my plants the extra feed and the fly larva goes to the chickens See what I'm talking about, the fly larva right there? Yeah, I hit a stash. That is pretty disgusting. <sighs> Bun buns are all cleaned out. I've got their trays cleaned out. I come in every, at least once a week or every other week and move them around and spray off all of the wood and clean all off underneath. So we are cleaning and shiny in here and baby bun buns are acting like they are so hungry, are getting some Swiss char. They are it's literally attacking the tray, trying to get to it. So baby bun buns are about to get a snack. Colby fills up their water containers from there every day. So I'll also clean that out and refill that up. So off to the greenhouse we go. Now I'm going to take my compost tea that I made and I am going to use that in the greenhouse on the broccoli. We do have broccoli still producing. It looks amazing. When I take the middle heads off, I have smaller ones on the side. So I have been intentionally leaving those and actually went out yes, yesterday and picked a whole nother bowl of just the side broccoli that had grew up big enough to cut. So to me, it would be a disgrace and a waste to take those when they were too little. I will be going back out this afternoon and pouring that compost tea on that broccoli for some extra, not on it, but beside it on the ground. When I say on it, I mean on the ground for it. I mean, let me clarify that because I don't want rabbit manure <laughs> broccoli. So that will go on the ground, not on the broccoli. I also think that I have been failing to mention to y'all. So y'all know we got these boots before the winter, maybe like mid fall. Some of our viewers have gotten them. Now we don't get any extra benefit, but truth be told, I love these boots. These are extremely comfortable. They're high up, they're warm. Comfort to me is where it got me. I have some other name brand boots and these by far are the most comfortable boots work boots rain boots whatever kind of boots you want to say i have thoroughly enjoyed having these boots as far as reviews goes when we get something and we really like it we want y'all to know
So in the spirit of fun days, we uh, the girls are with Miss Max. Sorry about the wind, guys. We have a storm coming in tomorrow. Actually, that's what that kind of darkness is over there. We're having fun today. So the girls are with Miss Mac. They're doing some tie-dye shirts. I want the purple, please. Don't wait, wait. And the boys are with me, and we're going to do some practice shooting. Aiden wants to upgrade his hunting rifle from shooting 243 to shooting a 308. Oh, are you cheating? Is that the one you got? What color is that? Purple. Oh, that purple is pretty. Oh, look, these will all be pretty together. Yeah, those are pretty. A lot of red doesn't go any together. All right, let's get to work. Which one? I'm gonna put. The blue leaks really bad. All right, Aiden has a cool little hunt table and a lead sled that we're gonna put it on. Make sure we get a good accuracy, and then if he wants to freehand it. We'll see what happens, but we want to make sure it is on and ready. The boys are doing this. The girls are over way over at the other house. We're away from everything. I got a hay bale set up to where the target is over a hundred, a little bit over a hundred yards right there, and it's going downhill. Also, it's got the hay bale behind it, tons of trees, so we know we are safe. So, eight. all right, we're set up and ready. There's that. We're gonna put the gun in the lead sled. If you've never used a lead sled, I like it because it just allows you not to have to worry about trying to kill your arm, trying to sight something in. And also, you know, you're moving. The lead sled's on the ground. It's not going anywhere. It's got a 25 pound weight to hold it down. So it allows us to get a good accurate shot. We're getting, we are at rut season now. We're starting to see bucks get shot around our area. And uh, all we've had is some does. So I'm hoping to see some, uh, some deer really come in. If we shoot just does, that's okay. Uh, Cause we're literally looking for meat, but I'd like for you to get a good buck this year. 